awfully clean looking around here. You ready for this? Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa. The 200 year old cellar hole that has a house sitting on top of it. Oh, oh, oh. Looks round. It looks big. We're back for a recap. Awfully clean looking around here. It's even manicured. Even the granite's shiny. Guess who? That's right, Guru. How you doing? Good. Good. Guess who else is here? Caves. That's right. Captain Orbit. You can tell by the nylon job. We are back where we were last month. The 200 year old cellar hole that has a house sitting on top of it. We got stuck in the rain. We're back for a recap. All right, here we go. 56 to 59 to start out. Well, here's a beauty that almost blew my head off. Whoa. That's about as 90 as it can be. Oh, wow. It's got a similarity to that last odd coin I dug here, but it's, it's huge. Yeah, that Italian coin that I pulled out of here had that same... <coughs> hey. They're, they're, they're shrining. Yeah. Is another Italian? It feels aluminum. It's very light. Yeah, very light. Well, somebody pick it up. Okay. <laughs> products, pool products. Pool products? Florida pool products. Come on. <laughs> I ain't kidding. What, redeem for one free in-ground pool or something? I guess. Let's see. Yeah. I could take that one off my list. Been looking for that one for years. R. How bizarre. He's even got a hook. Well, he's a pirate. Yeah. R. We're a long way from Florida. All right, so Guru's over here working. She's got a crater going on with a real squeaky signal. I'm going to say it's kind of in that sidewall. Oh, oh, oh. Looks round. It looks big. Yes, you did. Oh, with the shank. Oh, beautiful. Awesome. Oh, look at the gilt still on it. Great job. As you know, we're having fun at this place. We had fun here last time, found some really neat things, but we're looking for relics. We're looking for old artifacts. And uh, Guru just pulled it off with a beautiful old button. Probably 1820s to 40s front yard, and that was probably eight inches deep. Good job. Spoon? Clipped spoon? I guess, yeah. It does have spoon bowl look to it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Very thin. Oh, at least I finally got a wheat penny. It's like a 1960 something. 1965. Hmm. 63. 65 again. All right. Queedy excitement. Yeah. See if I can find it. There we go. Beauty. That's that round. Couple casings, pull tab, and a shard. Oh, yeah. you know, 
he appreciated the diagram I put of the umbrella slide in yeah. one of the last videos. Yeah. He wants to see a diagram of proper usage of a CCR. <laughs> You're not on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> but I can give you a few uh, links. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I got them bookmarked. <laughs> Isn't this cool? Oh, nice. <laughs> Very good. I think it's a front end loader. Yeah, Guru dug some toys here last time. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, I'm up like quite a bit in clad and stuff. 1967. That's yeah, a memorial again. Yeah. 1966. Cabes, listen to this signal. Nice, huh? Yeah. Yeah, under the asphalt. Is that a can? Or a GTL? Yeah. <laughs> Is it the tuna fish can problem? Sardines. Sardines. There you go, Buenos. And they were disgusting. Oh my god. Oh, that was different. I'm on a roll today. Yeah? <laughs> Big old four. Oh, cool. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Roll your window down. Yeah. You know that something because Guru dug the other toys right over here too. Oh yeah. Must, Must have been uh, sanded here in one place. All right, come on, Florida pool token. I finally dug up a complete wagon. Nice. Like you. So I think the assumption's right, like he was saying about the sand here. This spot is just loaded with toys. Made in the USA. Lancaster, PA. Hugly Kitty Toy number five. Huh? It's the first wagon spill I've ever had. That was about six feet over, but man, foot down. I'll tell you, the ground is hard here. Well, the signals are out here. Cool. Recently, I just dug up that watch fob that the baseball player on it, which is considerably old. But I actually saw a lot of these. That is actually pretty cool. I like it. And all of these finds, we bag them, tag them. They're going to the museum, you know. Right now, it might not be terribly old, but it gets to the historical society and sits there for a hundred years. It'll be pretty fascinating. Oh, nice. Beautiful. The old brake pad. Beautiful. That's a relic. Undercarriage. Yep. There it is. <laughs> hmm. It was a fire engine. Oh, yeah. Little button. Yeah, the button. Queen today. Very nice. Backyard? Mm-hmm. Deep? Four inches or so. Hmm. You ready for this? I've been ready all day long. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! I've been uh, I've been rubbing it. <laughs> It's got to be silver. It doesn't shine like that for nothing. Right. And it's got uh, three letters in it, and I can't. B F F. Best friend forever. No. Jesus, it does look like B F F. Yeah, or T T or J J. I, yeah. Nice job. Yeah. All right. Look at the guru got out in the backyard here. That's a big beauty. Yeah. Nice. Probably a skirt pin. You got me. Uh -huh. I'm gonna swing out here with you for a bit. Over there is where I found that fob. So as I was pointing over here to the old fruit trees, 
I figured it'd come swing, and I just dug a clump. Looks like chain. It is chain. Hmm. It has all my coinage, tokenage, relicage. It's uh, soft. So very thin. Yeah. That's a fair amount of targets, guys. Yeah. Well, everybody, hope you enjoyed it. It was a nice, casual day, great weather, and it just ended rather mellow. That's why I'm home now. I've edited, upload, you've watched, and hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you soon. Till next time, enjoy your not Thursday. I'll show you right